G'day cocktail lovers, I hope you've been keeping well. Hope you're ready for another cocktail. I spent a bit of time looking into what cocktails could I make this week. I was looking for, you know, were there notable dates, notable events that you could build a cocktail around. The Diffords Guide website is actually particularly good for this. And I did notice that they said, hey, Tuesday the 2nd of March is Lou Reed's birthday. Rock and roll icon from the Velvet Underground in his long solo career. And they suggested a drink called a Velvet Threesome. And I got hooked just because it's such an unusual drink. It has a split base of brandies, which I've never seen before. When you see a lot of the tropical drinks, it's actually quite common to have like a split base of rums one or more, sorry, more than one rum, two, three, or even four rums in some tiki style drinks. But brandy in a split base, I hadn't seen before. So I immediately wanted to try it. And while I've never actually been a huge Lou Reed or Velvet Underground fan, what the hell? Happy birthday, Lou, you grumpy old bugger. But for you, I'm going to do a Velvet Threesome. The first of the brandies, I'm going to do Applejack. Uh, you, uh, could do Calvados as well. Now, some uh, Americans with sharp eyes might go, oh, that's not the good stuff. That's not the bonded in bottle. And no, it isn't. To the best of my knowledge, you can't get that in Australia. Uh, this version of Applejack is actually a mix of 35% cider brandy and 65% neutral grain spirits. As I understand it, the bonded in bottle version is higher proof and is 100% cider brandy. Uh, this is 40% ABV, but I still like it, even if it's not the one that everyone says is best. It's what I could get. So yeah, this is equal parts, uh, three quarters of an ounce all round. So starting off with three quarters of an ounce, or about 22 and a half mils of Applejack. The next of the brandies is going to be a cognac. And I happen to have this Martel cognac, uh, and I thought, yeah, let's do that. You can, of course, use the brandies you have. Cognac has the sort of snooty reputation, but just because it's from France doesn't mean it's better. But I do have some, so I'm going to do three quarters of an ounce, 22 and a half mils of cognac. The third of the brandies is Peruvian Pisco. Uh, this is a particularly nice one. Now, as I say, it's three equal parts of different brandies. You could use the brandies of your choice. I would definitely recommend make one of them either Applejack or Calvados, an apple brandy. Definitely make one Pisco because it's got a really individual character. And in fact, there are many different Piscos, like as many different whiskies, etc., that taste different. Uh, and the third one, like I said, I used cognac. You could use Armagnac or just a brandy. So, but I definitely recommend having Pisco and an apple brandy in there. This is the third of the equal parts brandies. So I'm going to do three quarters of an ounce, 22 and a half mils of Pisco. This drink is not solely brandy. There are a few other boozy elements to put some different notes in, and it includes Liquor 43. This is a Spanish liqueur. It's, uh, this one's it's about 31% alcohol by volume. This is very interesting. It's like vanilla, herbal notes. It's very unique. There's only one Liquor 43. There aren't different sorts of 43. And yes, the 43 means they say we use 43 different botanicals in here. So, you know, it's one of those secret recipe drinks it's quite nice, so, but in this case, it's just going to be half an ounce or 15 mils of liquor 43. The final touch is a dry vermouth. You can use the vermouth of your choice. I'm using an Australian vermouth, Maiden Eyes Classic. It's just a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils of vermouth going in. As this is an all booze drink, if you're familiar with such things, you won't be surprised to learn it is a stirred cocktail. The other recommendation in the recipe, and this is actually created by Simon Difford from Difford's Guide, he said you should use wet ice or even dilute it with water. So rather than really hard frozen ice straight out of the freezer, what I did was actually pour some water over my ice, then drain it off. Alternatively, you could add about five or 10 mils of chilled water afterwards. I'm just going with stirring with the ice. Like I said, a little bit of dilution. So wanna give it a good, oh, say 60 revolutions or about 30 seconds of stirring. Have I mentioned before, I'm really bad at stirring. Even with Gaz Regan's magic finger. There we go, off to the races. Now I'm gonna use my Hawthorne strainer to keep out the ice while I strain it into a Nick Anora glass. You could go a coupe if that's what you have. Choice is yours. But it's a really nice 
elegantly carved drink. Ooh, wash line on that mugger. Okay, so I just thought uh, it would look nice in an elegant Nick and Nora glass. It's a fantastic colour, nice clear drink. Let's do a taste test. Mmm, that is really good. It's uh, surprisingly light in the flavour. It's, it's like very lightly fruity. I can taste the liquor 43, the vanilla and herbal elements. Pisco is a, a grape brandy, and I very much taste the grape in it. And a little bit of the apple from the Applejack as well. This is like, considering this is all booze, this is a comparatively light tasting, very elegant sort of drink. Uh, yeah, I thought it might be a bit full on with the equal parts of brandies and then the additional booze as well. But I think, yeah, just a little bit of dilution from the stirring serves it well, and it's quite a nice drink. Hmm. Definitely, seal of approval on this one. I am really surprised at how unboozy this tastes. Genuinely dangerous, genuinely dangerous that this does not taste boozy. Ah, so yes, if you've ever been scared of uh, all booze stirred cocktails, maybe this could be your gateway because I'm finding this amazingly easy to drink. A velvet threesome. Be interested to hear if you give it a go. And if you've ever heard of another split base with three equal parts of different brandies because that was completely new to me and it's worked really well. Well, I hope uh, you enjoy that. I hope you get a chance to try it and I hope you come back soon and see me. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, it'd be great if you did. Click the little notification bell so you get a notification when I do upload many more cocktail adventures to come and it would be awesome to have you along with me. But in the meantime, look after yourself Look after people around you, and until next time, cheers.